When we think of high-speed projects, DDR3 and 4 chips come to mind. Dealing with DDR3 and 4 requires a lot of pre-planning, since these devices depend on the routing topology. In addition to observing clearance requirements, the specifications regarding net length matching specified by the chip manufacturer must be observed. Memory chips have a distinct set of signal groupings, such as data buses running from the controller to each microcircuit, as well as groups of address, control, command, and clock signals that are connected throughout the design. For a group of addresses, we'll need to match the lengths of the tracks from the controller to each of the memory chips. The use of net classes here are indispensable. We want to create special X signal classes and already have them set before we start creating the rules for matched lengths. All Team Designer has a dedicated X signal creation wizard for DDR3 and 4 memory interfaces. One major benefit of this is that it automatically generates appropriate rules for matching net lengths. In the settings, we must select the number of bits for the data bus. Also, we must set the manufacturer's recommended values for the length tolerances for address nets, data nets, as well as differential pairs. On the next screen, using the filter at the top of the dialog to narrow things down, select the controller. In the pane below that, use the shift or control keys. Select all the memory chips, click next. The next step is to select the topology for the address, command control and clock nets. For DDR3 and 4 memory, we can use the flyby topology, where the address nets go from the controller to all the memory chips. Double check the order of the chips, which can be changed if necessary. Based on these nets, X signal classes will be generated for each of the memory chips. All Team Designer will attempt to automatically parse and match the address group nets. Adjust manually if needed. When all nets are properly matched, click the Analyze button. The X signals created and added to the class will appear in the table. If necessary, you can remove any signal from the X signal class. Click Next. The next step will create X signal classes for data groups. Also check the mapping of the nets, select the missing ones, and click the Analyze button. Once we've set all the parameters in the wizard, click the Finish button. The X signals classes are generated and can be viewed in the PCB panel. For each memory microcircuit, classes with data nets were created, as well as classes with address, command, control, and clock signals going to each of them. Also, rules were created for matching the lengths of nets for these classes with the previously specified values in the wizard. In addition, a rule was created for matching the phases of signals with the differential pairs that are in these classes. If needed, there's an option that changes these rules from a length orientation to one of delay. Once these nets are routed, you can start tuning the lengths of the tracks. All Team Designer has special tools for this, which will be described in more detail in a separate video.